Welcome to the Gooder Word. Welcome to Sports and Activities. We have upcoming state wrestling on Wednesday, 16th, Thursday, the 17th, and Friday, the 18th. Uh, we got the Boys District Tournament Friday, the 11th. If they win that, they will play Monday. If they win that, they play Thursday. We got District Wrestling Saturday, the 12th. Girls play Thursday, the 10th. That is this week. If they lose, I'm so sorry, but if they win, congratulations, you play again Tuesday on the 15th. And then hopefully if you win that, you play Friday the 18th. On the 16th, there is a state dual tournament wrestling in Illinois. Go Lions. Back to the sticky note. Uh, there's individual wrestling Thursday, 17th. Friday the 18th, Saturday 19th. Uh, there is Allstate Speech. Go short film and TV news. It's Allstate Speech, Saturday 19th, and Ames. You know, short film's really good. TV news is really good. Come down if you want to see. You're probably not going to show up. Anyways, on the 18th, there is, for jazz band, Tall Corn at UNI. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly World with Wit. Today's word is... Pin. Pin? Pin. Like a pin in a pin machine? No, like that's what our guys are going to do tonight. It is Tuesday night, but that's what they're going to do on Saturday. They're going to pin. Weekly Word with Wit. Go pin them. Sick. Hey, welcome to being devious. The one alone. What's up, Andrea? These are keys? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. I cover up the healthy snacks. Oh my god, devious. How devious. With dum dums and suckers. We should probably actually. We should probably. What's up, guys? Okay, let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh my god! I cannot believe that we just did that. Oh. Can I borrow yeah. pen real quick? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a nice pen. That's what you're doing today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go get the pen. Uh, this is a nice pen. Here's the pen back. We're going to ding dong ditch the school. <laughs> We're going to do some ding dong ditching. Oh, she doesn't even see us. Go, 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 let's go. Uh, we actually. Please, please, uh, yeah, could you, uh, please could you, me. could you let us in? Actually, yeah. It's kind of cool. We'll cut this. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. He'll never find it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fun Facts with Arch. <laughs> What's the fun fact, man? Well, the fun fact for today is we're gonna talk about people dying from music, but not the one that I normally tell. If this is a popular one, in some way, tell them to get, have me do my other people dying from music fun fact. In some way, like, you know, run up to them in the hall and say, have Arch do his other fun fact for music. Uh, but today we're gonna to talk about a guy who literally died from playing trumpet. His name is Gottfried Reich, and his face is here. And Gottfried Reich was a trumpet player in the late 1600s, early 1700s, for a composer by the name of Johann Sebastian Bach. His face is here. And Bach was very famous for writing lots of music. He's one of the most famous composers ever. And the music he wrote for trumpet was really, really, really hard, okay? And poor Gottfried Reich, he was getting a bit older, 
and the music was really tough. And one particular day, Bach had written something that went way up high, just way up high on the trumpet. And if you play trumpet, you gotta put a lot of pressure on, blowing a lot of air, faces turning red and all that. And really, poor Gottfried, he's, he's building up a lot of pressure. He walks out of rehearsal, has a massive stroke and just falls over dead from playing trumpet. So, to this day, trumpet players are always afraid of playing box music because you never know. You never know. Thanks for watching Deadly Facts with Arch. Are you guys still doing the advice column? Uh, probably not this week. Welcome to the advice column. Spider-Man thought he could steal my show, but I've donned a new suit. My name is now Chuck. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I'm gonna have to go with yes. If none of the cast members shaved for the rest of the school year, who would have the best beard? Uh. Well, first off, none of us are able to grow any type of beard whatsoever. So that's kind of a paradox. Toby, Andrew, or Tom? Well, I've had my run-ins with... <laughs> Tom was basically born to play the role. What is the meaning of life? To kill Spider-Man. What's your high score? Uh, five. How many chickens does it take to cross the sidewalk in the middle of the road? Uh, 15. Round 15. Can somebody scroll? Super fast Instagram Q&A. Maybe in the future. Building integrity checkup. Oh, that one's actually pretty solid. Maybe in the future we'll have to do another structural integrity check. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me for this advice column. Uh, I'm going to go try and kill Spider-Man. Thank you for watching today's episode of The Good Award. Uh, by the way, the short film and speech and the TV news and speech went to all states, so good for them. Um, if you're watching this Friday, none of The Good Award is here because we're in the Buke for Jazz Band, so go Jazz Band as you'd watch this. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they went.